While shoveling mud, I found a small box on the floor. Leanna Bassell has read a number of books in her 10 years at Rapid City Public Library, but never has she stumbled upon a story like this. I found a small box on the floor. It may have been some type of cardboard jewelry box. I hope the owners of the rings made it out okay and are still together, or at least doing fine. Neil Ramelow, Delano, Minnesota. That was the last I saw of it. That was, it was in the house and along with, you know, all our other possessions. Vesper Wright, her then husband John Rao and their son made it out of their trailer before the 1972 flood water, but their high school class rings did not. That's where Minnesota native Neil Ramlow came in. While he was here at a mobile home, uh, digging through the mud and cleaning up, salvaging what he could from the trailer, he came across a little box and inside were two high school class rings and an ID bracelet. The class ring I had spent my own money on and bought and, and uh, it, was, it was pretty special. Ramlo kept search for 40 years. He said, but I've been searching for a long time for the owners of these rings and it's time for them to go home. His search would lead him to Vassell and Rapid City High School's 1968 yearbook. I just went to the section that had the seniors, there was only one VM in the whole class. That's her right there with the bangs in the flip. The bangs in the flip. Yeah, it yeah. was such a surprise to get Leanna's call out of the blue and say, you know, we found the ring that we think belongs to you. And on a once in a lifetime day, 12, 12, 12. A reunion with a gift that withstood more than the test of time. Oh, it's so sweet. Now, and there's the V and the M. A prized gold ring commemorates another memorable chapter in Wright's life. Taisha Walker, Coda Territory News.